Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are back on Vertigo. My name is King Willy. I'm joined tonight by Nexus and our observer Aiden. We're getting this knife round underway in this contender game tonight. Tonight on the away team, we're looking at Gear Slayer 360, Gabe Me, Remix Pixel, Tim the Big One, and Sainted. Meanwhile, on the home team, you have T Grumpy, Chummy, Regretti, Jacob, and Orca81. Should be a pretty fun game. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We are here on Vertigo, so we did come off of a challenger game. So we're definitely going to see a big dif a big difference between uh, between how like, challenger players play Vertigo and how contender players play Vertigo. But just before we get into any of that, big shout out to Orca81. I love the man. That's that's my IGL. That's my captain right there. We and as we go off of that, we do have a ramp rush coming in. It looks like, uh, maybe not quite a rush. They are going to be walking this. And Jacob oh, just contacting the way up here. Jacob holding, not quite sure where to look. Oh, now spots the players on the ramp, and that is going to spur them into action. Sainted oh, with a kill and remixed. Finishing off the on the chunny. Sainted pushing through, getting another one. And now it is already a 2v5. Good damage, but Gear Slayer picking up Orca and T Grumpy not able to find anything before Gear Slayer finds his head. Very quick round, very clean round, I should say, from the away team as we move in to the eco or the uh, uh, second round. And they are up into for a second by fourth round here, and I know Orca likes to call this out on the CT side, just full MP9s. Uh, trying to farm up some good money, but also go for a round win here. Uh, but lack of head armor is going to be uh, their demise. We did see uh, a couple Mac 10s here, three Mac 10s to be exact. So we'll see if uh, these these uh, head armor, this lack of head armor comes into play. Absolutely, and I mean aside from that, you just gotta, you really have to hope that you get the first shot off if you're a CT right now. The Sainted is going to challenge. Chummy is going to spot him. Not going to take the fight. Some good damage done. Molly is gonna force them into the position to take these bullets from Tim. Ready, able to pick up his own, but Gabe pushes through the smoke. So much a second player, but finally able to find it. He's grumpy, chiming in, taken down by Sainted. Now down to the 1v2 Orca. Low players. It is possible. Find Sainted. The most healthy of the two. Now it's just down to Gabe. 12 HP versus a full HP Orca. That's a very smart player. He also likes to get into these riding positions, especially when they don't come from an Orca takes down Gabe Me. And, oh, I see an AK on the floor that Orca picks up. That is a cardinal sin when it comes to T-side on Counter-Strike. Uh, you always, you never really want to go for a second round uh, AK buy, especially, uh, you know, if things go south. You essentially just give the uh, the CTs a free, better gun than an M4. And so uh, it comes to, you know, we'll, we'll see if it comes to bite them in the ass here. Absolutely. And Going off of that, we do have pistols coming out for the T's. We still have a full buy for the CT's, of course. Oh, an XM though from Jacob. Let's see where he is. Already falls back here. Heard a couple of footsteps. Doesn't want to get too anxious as, uh, you know, pistols are... Oh, it's for it's a little bit longer. It's not able to find anything, but actually Jacob is on a very quick flank here. They think that they've cleared this, but there is still a player close, and that's going to be Gabe trying to run away. Jacob just trying to hunt down this kill. Able to find the first, able to find the second with that sniper of a shotgun. Oh. Remix pistol into the headshots of Jacob, but Jacob did pick up two kills here with the XM. That's eighteen hundred dollars, and essentially almost pay, pay, it does pay for itself. Jacob has enough to buy an AWP, and I did play against Jacob throughout the regular season, and he is um, he did like to opt there, especially on Vertigo. So he does opt to buy an M4. So no opt for today, but we do see an M4 an op onto Remix Pixel here, and a Tech Nine onto Gear Slayer. So a bit of a weird buy, but the rest of the T side here it already has full guns. So Keep mind maybe this. Dirt. There also is no armor behind that off there. So this is a glass cannon. So we'll see how that goes. But Gear Slayer Ooh. putting that Tech 9 to work, actually taking down Jacob there in side hall. And that could make the T's feel a little bit more confident about this weird buy. Ready T position in mid and Orc left alone on this A side. Better look at oh my god, just so good at isolating these angles and look at him. Just picks up a double and falls back here. Knows how to move. 
he's a veteran player of this game, and so he knows when to take a shot. Saint hit a little bit stuck out in the middle of nowhere there, able to make it out with his life somehow. Util's coming through, try and block these T's out. First, able to flick over to the second. That is Orca and Regretti taken down. Now just down to T Grumpy and Chummy. 3v2 retake. Two players low. Chummy already taken out the remix. Sainted now has to clutch up, but T Grumpy too quick. Takes him down through the smoke and a wall. That is, that is be... not picked up as well. Yeah, that's an op picked up and a third round for the home team. We did see a. Uh... What was it? Team Home, I do believe, was a CT, or a CT side on last game. Did have a, a really strong start on Vertigo. Maybe we can see another strong start here from the contender players. But yeah, Op is now out and it's onto T Grumpy. So I'm, a, I'm assuming that Jacob's not going to want to Op here. Maybe we'll see some nice shots from T Grumpy. But Gear Slayer, you know, onto the hero AK here with a couple of uh, upgraded pistols and no armor. So we'll see how much of a fast play we're going to see here. Fast play. Grumpy, not quite enough, not quite fast enough on the flick, but that nade is going to do very good damage. Chummy re-challenging the M4. They might not have expected a second player there. Meanwhile, T's kind of stuck bottom ramp, trying to figure out where they want to end. But they do have the CTs, I, say, I should say, have stairs control and shut out the T's. And Jacob, it does have a nade out there. If there, any, if there is, was a player inside hall, Jacob definitely could have been called out there. But Leah, yeah, ramp control now being taken out and Chummy deep into B steps. So a lot of map control taken from the CTs here. And so it forces the team away to kind of walk into a stack. And gave me with the quick trade. On to Chummy there. Regretti just trying to line up a molly here. It's going to be good to kind of block them out. That smoke, though, is going to. Gave me being taken out by T Grumpy. And the is still there. Regretti able to double up there with the help of Orca to be able to close out that round, put a fourth up on the board for them. And wow, we do see double ops on the T side here. That bomb plan down definitely would have did some wonders, but they're already at a high enough loss bonus that that bomb plan at extra $800 wouldn't have mattered too much. But maybe in the subsequent rounds, I'll be proven wrong. And Gear Slayer just, his economy is so weird. He's not buying with the team and he's buying when the team can't buy. So. Maybe we'll see if that if that'll come to hurt them in the, in the near future. Or we'll see if they under this angle. No, nope. cool. nothing connects. Damage does go the way of the T's there. And this op is just trying to boost up. Hasn't quite been successful. There they are. Daryl. But Regretti, he knows. He should probably calm that out by now. But has does he know that there are four players in there? Chummy still wants to take the peak, feeling confident, isn't able to connect though. Now Regretti just has to sit there and hope that he's able to find at least two. Oh, the Here's timing. Player. Gonna take the first peak. He's gonna be able to make out, or make it out. And Orca taking down Gear Slayer. It's gonna turn attention away. But Regretti not able to get out in the mid. Now these T's are a little bit trapped, not sure where to go. 52 seconds left, so still a bit of time left, if they manage their time wisely. That was the Gear Slayer taking down, so Gear Slayer only had that Deagle, so not too much of a hindrance when it comes to Team Away, but, you know, Team Home, CT side, they're now spread out thin. They did lose a player, and that does put strain on the economy, and also how heavily defended these sites are. As you see Jacob by a headshot here, kind of jiggling for side hall, and not knowing that there's four T's about to pop on him. Yeah, oh, and miss smoke. I mean, aside from that, there just there isn't enough players here. I mean, finally you have a player rotating to heaven here. Dang, good, getting good damage. Regretti getting an actual kill there. That's what they needed. And Regretti doubling up on one HP. Gabe now down alone into the clutch. Is he going to be able to hold this? Playing near sandbags. Player up on the Is not able to connect. Orca takes him down. And that is going to be a fifth round put up on the board. Little similar story to what we saw last game. Bomb has been defused. Yeah, to Grumpy, Regretti, and Orca just kind of doing a lot of heavy lifting. Orca with a triple kill in that round. Just, you know, as a rotator, Orca is always dependable on, on, on getting at least one to two kills there. Especially when he has all the room to work with. But yeah, it was just a wonderful retake uh, there by Team Home. 
it was a bit of close, you know, shots being being missed, you know, sprays being very heavy, but they end up getting the round win and that's all you can that's all you really need. Absolutely, and as we go into this seventh round, we are gonna see another fast ramp take. It is gonna be just a ramp simulator. A little bit of a misname there from Jacob. They aren't quite yet. Orca Wild Spray isn't able to connect onto Tim, who is now down to 9 HP. Nade not hitting. Oh, oh, oh. The team damage come in. Take the box of remix pistol into side hole. Now they know there's two here, but Saint it alone here by cringe and gets mollied out. That's two, it's a 2v3. 2v2 make that. T Grumpy misses the shot. And Chummy gets taken out. It's now down to 1v2. T Grumpy has all the work in the world. It takes the first shot, gets it. That's the bomb down, holds it. And no side hole is smoked, and opposite drop another smoke down in front of him. And he gets split. He likes flick from T Grumpy. That's a very clean round from T Grumpy. If you give me just a second, I'm having some technical difficulties with my headphones. That is more than okay. I'll be sure to pick up the slack here, but just a beautiful round by T Grumpy there. Uh, isolates the 1v1s. They just gave it to him, and Orca. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a flop spray made it not as a uh, as the team I guess made the round a little bit too close and that team uh, I think onto Jacob there was not helping at all but picking into stairs misses the shot stays for a little bit too long but getting pushed here nice shot from Team Grumpy nice shot from Team Grumpy doubles up triples up even doesn't get the fourth doesn't get the fourth ups to pick up the Mac ten and just oh, okay, Twin. Chummy picking up the slack here, but beautiful shots by T Grumpy. Just going crazy right now, especially that with there, you know. Normally you see operas fall back after getting rushed by a Mac 10, but T Grumpy said no. I'm I'm putting my foot down and just going crazy here. Went into the ninth round now. Uh we are gonna see another more deagles. Two smokes and a flashbang, so we'll, we'll probably see a late a late or an early exec here. Mid and Tree Grumpy just, oh my god, just going again for this uh, B ramp pick. I guess he's had the spawn and he's just really good at it, so there's nothing that you can really do about it. But Regretti taking out Remix Pixel and KB takes out Regretti as a trade. Good nade onto, uh, I believe my screen is being blocked right now. Good nade onto Sainted, ex excuse me. Bringing it down to a 4v4 now. Jacob. Playing from side hall. Oh. This is the spray. He's worried about that deagle, but oh, okay. it's taken down and taken out by Sainted. And Sainted, oh, just barely misses out on the kill there. Jacob takes him out and gave me onto Chummy Jacob. So in this idle position, gave me Orwood Gears there. Comes up. That's Jacob now. The 2k and just can't barely make it out alive. But that's a bomb down in the middle. T Grumpy in a 1v1 with gave me on for a 4k here. Grumpy knows he was on A site, but has all the time in the world to rotate. Picks up a tech nine. Now that's sound being made, and now he's worried. Now the sights to scope in. Gave me here, Gave coming me. through CT. Trying to outsmart his opponent. Can it happen? How smart is T Grumpy? Knows. Good smoke onto the bomb there. Good reflexes to go ahead and wait. Gabe me, just gonna run. Gonna hold for a second. Key Grumpy. And Gabe me able to just hold off in time to be able to pick up that kill onto T Grumpy. It's good plays there. Uh, definitely knew that T Grumpy was there hearing him run out towards B site and you know made the false drop and then re aggressed slowly by walking. T Grumpy with a bit of a missed flash, wanted to go a little bit shallower. But still, nonetheless, a good quick thinking uh, that you can't that you see out of these contender players. No off on team home, so we are going to see the full rifles come out. But we do see a Krieg onto remix pixel here, so let's see if how you know how they'll be able to use that. Absolutely, and we still have three players coming up ramp. Two players kind of holding towards mid here, maybe pushing out now. Actually, they're going to be leaning towards B steps. That's going to be a kill going the way of the T's with that Krieg. Very good damage, though, from Chummy. Just trying to stay alive here. Meanwhile, Orca on the A site, picking up the Pierce Slayer. Sainted, though, trading, though. Orca has to get forced back, but all of these players are low. I don't see an HE on any of the CTs right now. That could be this rest. Orca. 
coming back up, always rechallenging, always being a nuisance. Orca doubling up through the smoke onto Tim and Sainted. Orca now onto the ace. Not able to find it. Gave me, shuts that down. Now down to the 1v2. 11 HP with the op. This is the weapon that he would need to take this. Needs clean kills. Two shots, two players. This is all he gets. And he is able to make it out with bomb. He is going to go ahead and start to run. He should get met at the B site. Oh. Walk back. But he's faking Chico out. P. He's faking out Regretti here. Regretti, he's committed to this rotate. It is now only T Grumpy at headshot. And I believe at this angle, Gabe Me might be able to spot him. Look back, does not get spotted? Gabe Me, now go for the plan, makes a step. Go for T Grumpy the plan. jumps up. And T Grumpy gonna plan. shut that down. Almost an ace, almost a clutch. Still a very good bomb plant to be able to retrieve, though. Even through all of that, T Grumpy waiting for that bomb to go down to activate and waited just maybe a second too long to allow that to go down and for the eco to still be good enough for these T's to get a buy. 8 2 is the score line going into round 11. Mm. And Jacob, though, actually on the CT side, maybe not going to be able to afford the gun that he wants. No, he is going to choose to go with the XM. We have seen this do wonders so far this game. And we are only going to see one op coming out onto T Grumpy. Grumpy very powerful on this op and uh, work uh, getting a little bit too kill hungry there. But if I was feeling, if I was him, I got a nice double kill. I'd be feeling it too. But yeah, just a wonderful play by uh, T Grumpy there. He was waiting a little bit too much, but he wanted to make sure he got the shot off and didn't want to lose a round. But gave me, oh my God, just having Orca's number and Jacob here. Inside hole, they know he likes to play here, and they know they haven't seen his name pop up yet. They haven't seen any presence here, so definitely gonna be aware of Jacob. And Sainted able to take down Jacob actually against that close range XM. Not what you were expecting necessarily, but the T's welcome. Maybe the chance for another round, and actually, he's gonna be up. Yeah. T Grumpy's gonna spot him. Remix. Remix gonna take him down. That is gonna be a third round for the T's here, and an op retrieved. And Eco lost for this CT side. They should force this, and they are, in fact, going to go ahead and force off the fact that they were going to be on a double save anyway. And so we see a couple of MP9s, three Deagles. Like the utility, too, so once again, these players are going to have to go for a heavy, uh, heavy aggression here. It looks like they are going to push mid here. AK okay here. That's the AK taking down. How much still here on T spawn? That's the off spawn as well. All of a sudden, everything has gone the way of the CT, sainted, left alone, wondering what happened. And he's forced into a 1v5 clutch. Maybe a little bit of a misread there from the T side to hold that mid push. And now, sainted, he has to try and win this. They I know, were so uh, I know. close to being able to start a streak, but a force by. Up the wall. Oh, gets the nice flick onto Orca now. Uh, uh, Jacob able to find a just second, really gets his gun out. Oh, there at CT. He's able to pick that one up as well. This is now a 1v2. That is a lot of guns passed over for these CTs. Even if they win this round, they still might not be able to buy next round. And Sainted, exactly. 2 HP. I mean, what more can you ask from him? T Grumpy, still a 90 HP. Sainted needs a very clean headshot. And T Grumpy is not going to let it happen, tucking himself away deep in T spawn. That is a round passed over, but still not great economy for the CTs. They could, if they lose this round, they could be forced back into another force buy. Yeah, I mean, with the, with the round being 13, you know, you don't have that much ro uh, room to work with, especially when it comes to these force buys. Sometimes you just have to save. But saying to this just goes to show the difference between challengers and contender players, the indecision, saying to not looking where he's supposed to be and not carrying proper angles and still managing to pick up two kills, so, or three kills, excuse me. And, you know, so no no knock to him, but, you know, the indecision really did come there to. Basically, an orca. Not gonna work out for him. Gabe me again, taking down Orca. And maybe a clean take. If T Grumpy can't change anything right now, this is gonna be a very clean take from the T's. Gabe me already up close in the smoke, gonna take down Jacob. 
looking to double up here. Chummy, very low HP. And Cave Me trying to go through the smoke isn't going to work out. Was that the mistake? That what ends this T take? Ready, choosing to go up. And now it's just down to Sainted. We've seen him in the clutch before. There's the first. Still very healthy. Chooses to try and jump over to stop a defuse that wasn't happening. And T Grumpy able to find him. A little bit of a... Uh... Of anxiety there by Sainted. He heard the tap and was, you know, very sure that they were gonna stick it, especially with, with three players left alive. And I don't really blame him, you know, you have two players left with you as you're defusing the bomb with a bunch of utility left, especially with the smoke down on the site. I do believe there's still one left there. So you have to assume that they are sticking that bomb. But yeah, Team, uh, team Home here uh, picking up that round win, making it 10 3 now. We're going into round 14. They have to win this run now. Economy's still not looking too good here, but at this point, all that really matters is if they lose this round here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the T's, they, they need a round, and they need it bad. Especially if they want a chance at the <clears throat> Zonix Law. Not that I want to jinx anything, but if they want a chance, they have to get a round here soon. Oh, but Orca, Orca not able to find a kill there, trying to take down Gabe Me, but Gabe Me is too quick. And it feels like Orca just cannot take him down. Meanwhile, Jacob... Side hall. Ryan pulled out, gave me, able to find him. And now T Grumpy, the off. Not a player now able to connect. Sainted. He takes down T Grumpy. Very scrappy fights going back and forth. Two low players versus Sainted. Sainted is still in the clutch. Oh, and still doesn't spot this player. This is. Finally, able to connect. Players towards the ramp. Able to find the first. And still keeping that eco somewhat low. Still keeping it at a one round difference right now. Now, the T's, they do have to buy here. So we are going to see a few Galils come out. But still a somewhat good buy for the T's here. I mean, you have a lot of util going their way. And, I mean, three AKs and two Galils, that's not bad. Here on Team Home here at the CT side. Uh, lack of head armor on T-Company and Jacob. I make these Galils a bit more dangerous than they really are. I mean, good damage on T Grumpy, but probably about an even amount traded from that util. And even more damage going the way, but gave me taking down Chummy. Chummy maybe getting a little bit too aggressive there, handing over a kill that he didn't need to. But here we go, T Grumpy able to double up. Gear Slayer taking him down. Ready is already here. Trying to get the line up. Only takes down Gear Slayer. Now Sainted. And there is Remix Pistol getting taken down. That is a 12 3 score line in favor of the home team going into the second half. Yeah, and I do want to say that uh, I do believe that was Sainted who had the bomb and it was just running out there to sight. And once again, that just shows the difference between challenger and contender players. Uh, not only the indecision, but also the decision making of that round. It's one thing to not be able to know what to do, it's another thing to make the worst possible choice ever. And Sainted. Dropping that bomb there, even if he was going to get flanked, I think trying to go for a bomb plant there to maybe give yourself uh, a better chance to win around is better. It's better than nothing, but sometimes you might be feeling it. Maybe uh, you were too afraid to plan, knowing that you're going to get flanked and want to take a fight and maybe go for a highlight clip there. But in the end, it makes the round a little bit less you know, secure. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, this this pistol round, the CTs, I, the CTs are actually choosing to go ahead and Looks like take some ramp control. They are going to be met by four T's here, doubling up on sandbags. Wouldn't be any util to be able to counter this. So they have to rely on just aim. Tim, able to find one, not able to find a second, only showing himself. And Sainted chiming in with two, actually. Jacob picking up one. T Grumpy, he has to run away. This doesn't come in, and Jacob now down to the 1v3. This pistol round might not go the way of the home team. Bomb is down at ramp. And the CTs are just going to converge on that, letting Jacob sit and stew, trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, but we know how much of a good player Jacob is. He was hitting some nice shots, and it's still possible. Gets the first into game me. On for the ace now. He has to get the ace to win not able to find the kill against Tim the Big One. Tim the Big One is going to shut down any chances of that getting out of hand. And that's going to force the T's to make a decision here. Do they have the rounds that they feel to be able to take back this force? Personally, I think they do, but they are going to go ahead and choose just to get some pistols here and some util. We could see a little B-pop coming through. 
And I do see five players heading that way. And this nade, if it's placed right, only able to find chip damage. That nade will go a bit high. Not able to fully connect on it. And it is just going to be chased down, taken down by Jacob. He wants to big one, getting a quick trade. Dink down, though. And that bomb is going to go down. That is what the T's wanted here. And they are just coming in with these SMGs and the FAMAS. And that is going to be sainted with a... I want to say that was a long-range headshot. With that, with that uh, MP9 taking him down. And that is going to be a fifth round. And aside from that, I mean, you got the plant. You got the plant. You now have everything that you want. Now is the time, if you're the home team, to start to shut down this CT economy. You know, beat them this round, beat them next round, and you have the game in the palm of your hands. You force them into pistols going into match point. But the first Let's part. Let's get there first, there, Willie. Let's yeah. get there first. Yeah, you have to. You have to win this round first. And this off could be the difference. A lot of noise being made here on Team Ramp on the ramp as well. So Orca just getting fast up here into side hole, making a lot of space here. Orca is a bit of a good entry, so but gets tagged down to 50. That 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 does make these uh these SMGs more dangerous as he does get taken out by Gears there. A flash comes through, flashing off the jump. He doesn't know something. Is not able to connect. And players have tagged low. Ready, taken out, sainted. And that flash coming through, flying off the Team Jumpy here. Molly spreading. Gave me though, picking up a kill under Ready T Grumpy. What a turnaround to hit that shot. Oh, and that is gonna be handed over. Chummy down to 1v2. Oh, I don't think he spotted the default player. Slowly clearing these angles. Here's the scope. Here the scope. Doesn't know if it's an op though. Oh, and the player backed up into him. He blinds himself. <laughs> Jump. Gear Slayer is going to take advantage of that. That is going to be a round that goes the way of the CTs. Yeah, just free guns all around. Ops dropped for uh, Gabe Me here. And Team Home now relegated back down to pistols. We do see a CC75 coming out. So I'm, I'm tempted to just start making fun of them now. But I want to see if they get a highlight clip first before I say anything. I mean, we've seen, I've, I've seen CZ's pretty good work before, and, but not in this position. They're actually just pushing through this molly. Chummy able to take down Tim, though. All of a sudden, Orca goes down to Saint, but all of a sudden they have mid control. No bomb, though. T Grumpy, good kill on to Remix, but gave me with a quick trade. Saint and Jacob, and two more to be able to close out the round. Good 4K from him, actually to be able to secure a 7th and make this game a little bit closer. Yeah, just uh, and I do see Twitch chat, Corona says now respect to CZ. Now see if uh, if Jacob there had the Tech 9, he definitely would have gotten a running headshot to win his team the round by getting an ace. Don't look at the stats, don't fact check it, please, thank you. But we do see the full ACs come out, T-Grumpy with an AWP going up against Gabe. Me now, you know, T-Grumpy once again, we know how tough he is on this AWP and oh my god, oh, just getting the kill to Remix Pixel. Just as you were saying it, I mean, this op is extremely dangerous in the hands of T Grumpy, and this is where things start to get a little bit weird. You now have a disadvantage in the CT, and you give <laughs> the T is another kill. Jacob picking up one in mid there gave me. He has to back out. He has to figure out where he wants to go, and Chummy is just gonna take that fight in the flames. Now sainted, he's just gonna back out. To say, you know, I don't have to go for this retake. He's gonna take down Jacob, and then he's gonna decide, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and retreat here. You guys can have that site. Maybe a bit of a hunt from Chummy. No, he is gonna go ahead and back out. They are gonna save over two guns, and they have plenty of money to work with going into the 21st round. What are you doing? They also want to keep these guns alive here. Gear Flare at 10,000 and Saints at 5,400. Now, even if they do die, they can definitely drop over a couple of guns, but, you know, a gun, a gun saved is a gun earned, and that just makes their, the economy battle that much easier to hold. But oh, sainted in ladder room, yeah, he is, and they hear him. Everyone running, covering for their lives, trying to hunt oh, for but, Regretti. But wait, Regretti might catch somebody here. Terrorists win. No, he's gonna choose to go ahead and hold on to his gun. They don't quite have the eco to pass those over, and that is gonna be just a little bit of economy built up for the T's. 
They do have, you know, maybe a one or two round buffer here based off of loss bonus. And aside from that, though, the CTs, they are starting to get down to their last pennies. Gear Slayer, though, sticking on $5,400, staying alive, keeping the gun. Here we go, T Grumpy again on this op. Seeing how well he's been doing. Gear Slayer. Taking peeks. Maybe a little bit of spam, not able to connect with anything. And a boost coming through onto V steps. What can we see from that? The op is actually going to be going up. T Grumpy, if he turns the op this way, they, I believe that this barrel sticks through here. I don't know if they ever fixed that. Yeah. Oh, they spotted. He is, he is going to hear reason. all of this. And still kind of aiming at the board here. Able to find the first. T Grumpy, not able to find anything because Gabe Me comes in. And now they have all of Steps control. Remake holding on to this. Whiffs the shot. Has to back out. Throws a smoke down. Defensive smoke, but Gabe Mead chooses to go ahead and challenge. Remix, quick shot onto Jacob there. Closing him out. Not able to find the second. Gabe Mead coming to clean it up though. And just so that's not okay. clearing your corners. Yeah, no, I mean, aside from not clearing your corners, that was just a very clean round from the CTs. You really can't fault the T's there. Just because, I mean, it felt like the CTs, they had a very good setup there. They're very strong. They had a trade potential, even if Pis uh, Pixel went down. Well, I mean, they're facing there by Team Home, but here they are. They need to pass it to Ramp here. Oh, and Gear Slayer, he wants to slay the T's right now. Not gonna happen. He's not gonna take any fights until now. Able to find Orca. Meanwhile, Chummy onto Sainted, onto Sight, gave me Grumpy, and Gear Slayer taking down Chummy. So now Regretti and Jacob. Actually, Jacob is up on B Sight. The CTs completely gave up B, and is Jacob gonna push a little bit too far forward here? Be able to find one for sure. Be able to find a second in the air. Gave me though trading. Now down to the 2v1. Big, big kill here. Oh, and he might. He's not gonna quite walk into the crosshair. Now he will, but only a tag. Oh, and gave me should have spotted the head there. Oh, and perfect. Able to clutch it up. Rick Reddy with the one v two. Perfectly, perfectly read that situation. And that's just a great clutch from him. That is. That, that if that clutch definitely wouldn't have been possible without Jacob there. Jacob just taking that space and Regretti being uh, being able to fall back off of A there. Just overall great communication, great play, especially Jacob. I can tell that by the comms, it can definitely be, uh, you know, come back B. We have B, we have B, and Regretti instantly on that rotate. Absolutely. Oh, this is going to be a fast B hit. Remix pistol is for Pixel. is not going to be able to get out of there. Jacob taking him down. Wood is going to be cleared now. Tim, Jacob, 4v4. Gave me pretty good aggressive to this off. Double Molly coming through towards Jen. He's gonna smoke himself off. Gave me, you're getting close to the edge there. Oh, he's able to find T Grumpy. And able to find Regretti. Now it's just down to a 2v3. Chummy. Playing behind White Box. Meanwhile, Orca playing the flank. Orca able to find the flanker. And Sainted taking down Chummy there. Orca now needs to come up massive. Not able to line them up, gave me too quick on the reactions. That is going to be nine for the away team. And nothing really too much to say there, just some great execution. However, the nades were a bit, you know, a bit too loose. You know, essentially you want to have some good smokes to prevent the CTs from having to easier rotate and also some good flashes to make sure your team can get onto site. And, you know, it's one thing to flash, you know, a CT. It's another thing to flash a CT and, you know, get the map control that they gave up after being flat. So once again, you know, just... The communication just not fully there, or the, at least the utility usage and teamwork is not fully there, but it's still nice to know that they I can toss these good flashes. We should see a temp here. Actually, as I say that, they are just running down these CTs in mid. Gabe, football one back, they chase down. Orca picking that up. And this is now down to a 1v3. Jacob on that CZ. Hasn't found a kill with it yet. There's a low player on Sainted. The question is, are they going to give him any kills? It's already a it's bit easier. expensive for the CTs, so anything else would be good for the T's. There we 
out. Yep. Jacob just checking his flank. Not quite wanting to commit to a fight yet. Smartly. Throw to flash. Push out. Spots the barrel. Deer Slayer swings out. Able to take down Jacob. Unfortunately, mid is just not the position for a CZ. But, you know, Jacob tried his best to make it work. It was still costly that round for the CTs. They're not going to have all the util they want. Still quite a bit, though. Meanwhile, the T's should be back onto a buy here. Off down on the ground. T Grumpy, we're going to, of course, see him picking that up. He has been a shining star with that thing. 23 kills to his name so far. And only looking to add to that. He's not going to be handed over anything quite yet. Yeah, just coming to the 25th round, though. Just T Grumpy, once again, just a superstar player, but hasn't had much impact. The Gear Slayer deep into the smoke here. Will Jacob clear? Jacob does play side hole on CT side, so he definitely knows these cheeky angles, but oh. Does he oh, clear? Jacob. Does he clear it? Not able to find it. And Chummy able to find the kill on the Tim in mid. Maybe able to double up against Gabe Me there. That's an off missed shot. And Regretti through the smoke. And this is just back and forth, it feels like, but the T's are ending out on top. Chummy already pushed into spawn. Almost caught a timing there. He's just gonna hold here. Sainted coming through CT. Actually, both players are gonna be coming through CT here. Just holding. Maybe looking to save here. Since their economy is not doing that great. And Sainted able to find one. And that is gonna go ahead and just confirm that they should just hang back. Gear Slayer, Gear Slayer. not quite seeing anything, but that is gonna be an off and an off dropped. Now Sainted knows that there's a player close. This would be a good kill, and he is going to find it. And he's going to go ahead and retrieve that off for the team. Yeah, I do want to put the spotlight on Sainted there. Yeah, you know, we were talking a lot about high impact uh, kills, high multi kills, but Sainted are just the same, except doing it just a tad bit better and uh, getting a couple of singles and doubles that, you know, don't necessarily get the spotlight as often as they do, but Sainted, you know, Getting all these multi kills and getting high impact as well. 30 and 15, 109 ADR. Second on his team, or first on his team with Gaby coming in in a close second. Absolutely, and we actually see a Nova coming out onto Remix Pixel here, and it is going to be fast ramp, so maybe we can see something happen with that. But here, Slayer's going to get aggressive with this. He's going to be flashed in, but only slight damage done. Orca still not willing to commit to that jump up. Here comes the action, but they are going to throw a defensive smoke here. Jacob maybe thinking about going through that. Sandbag's Molly coming through. He's going to force Orca out of position. Missed flash from T Grumpy and Chuck. Fun pixel. Jacob, Orca, both getting kills. Meanwhile, Tim picking up a kill onto Jacob. Now it's just down to Tim in the 1v3 clutch. Able to find damage onto the first. Not able to find anything though. Good damage done, but that is going to be game. Home team is going to end up winning that. Away team, only 10 on the board. And I mean, what can you say? That was just, there were great plays, great players from both sides. I mean, Sainted at 31. The, it looked like the kills had been going the way of the away team, but just not the plays. Yeah, I just want to note that uh, team, team home here, uh, everyone has above double digits, when, but team away, one player on eight kills and 21 frags. Yeah, kills don't mean everything, but sometimes, you know, you need to get at least a double or a triple when it comes down to holding out this, uh, when it comes down to holding on the site or when it comes to entering the site. So Remix Pixel being the, on the bottom of the scoreboard with such low impact just kind of, you know, it just shows that wh exactly why Team Away lost. Absolutely. And we are going to go ahead and see if we can find ourselves an elite game to stream for you guys. Um, did have one start. About 30 minutes ago, however, um, we're going to go ahead and see what happens. We'll be back with you guys shortly. My name's King Willie. I'm joined by Nexus. And thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to be back shortly.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, my name is King Willy. I'm joined by Nexus, of course, and we weren't able to find another game that's going on, so we are going to go ahead and cut it off. It is starting to get late into the wee hours of the night, especially for our East Coast friends. Now, if you are interested, Combine queues are still open. They're going until there is no one left to play. Um, there just isn't a game that's going on right now that we can hop into. So, if you want to, go ahead, hop into that. If you're feeling like you're tired, you want to go to bed, we will be opening up Combines again on Tuesday. That is Tuesday the 10th. Feel free, stop by into that. Um, Nexus, you have anything to say? Yeah, just you know, follow us on Twitter. I do believe that our Twitter handle is at CS Confederation. That's also our TikTok handle as well. Follow us there to know when uh, to see some crazy clips, some funny memes, and to, just to know when we're getting active and when uh, there's events going on here. Also, check out the Discord. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by tonight. My name has been King Willie, or my name still is King Willie. I was joined <laughs> tonight by Nexus and Aiden as the Observer. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you guys on Tuesday. Yeah.